Well, I saw on Twitter someone had put together like a compilation on YouTube of, you know, all of your big plays and stuff throughout your career. Um, you know, obviously the Colts where you played a majority of your time with, um, you know, had a good response to you when you announced it. But what is it like to see, you know, people around the game of football who either played in the league with you or just these fans that are showing their support? What is that like for you to see all that? And that's love, and I appreciate it. I think that's one of the things, you know, just um, when I did announce it on the uh, Twitter and Instagram, just reading all the messages, man, and just, um, you know, talking, seeing how people appreciated the way I played the game, and um, it was it was a good feeling. The rookie to now, I guess, how would you describe how the league has changed as a whole on both sides of the ball? It's not as physical, not as violent, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's the biggest the biggest difference just as far as like how the game is being called, um, especially from the defensive side and then on the offensive side, just the style of play. I think when um, I came in the league, it was, you know, you had a few teams, um, you know, playing the way the game is now, but a lot of times it was still, you know, two running backs and run the ball downhill. So um, I would say defensively can't be as physical offensively, um, just the style of game. You know, being in Newport News back then, I guess, did you did you always envision yourself making it to the NFL? Was that always, um, you know, something you thought would be possible or did it maybe take some time to realize that? Uh, how did that work for you? I, I, it took some time. I think for a lot of young, you know, young kids growing up in that area, especially when I was um, growing up, you know, you've seen Michael Vick, you've seen AI, Aaron Brooks, you've seen a lot of guys. <clears throat> you know, from the neighborhoods that look like yours make it. So obviously it's a dream, but I don't think it really set in my mind that it was actually a, a possibility for me until I got to, to college, probably like my second uh, my second year at, um, at Howard. And that's when it kind of became um, a thing for me where I was like, okay, this is an opportunity or a chance that I could really, um, I could really get to. And I think that's when it really, really set in for, for me.